Hey, I'm Hannah Nye. I'm a UI UX designer here at Design Interactive. This might take a while. <laughs> and today I want to talk about XR prototypes. So prototypes and design are used for testing. We want to make sure that things are going to work properly before we spend time developing the product. We're normally testing new ideas. A lot of what we're doing just hasn't been done before. So there's three kind of prototypes that we generally use for XR products. The first one is a paper prototype. Paper prototypes are great for quick physical representations of what you want to see. So you might have to start cutting, gluing, taping. It can actually turn into a fun crafting project. The second kind of XR prototypes is AR mobile testing. Apps like Torch and Adobe Aero allow for AR objects in your space using your phone. There are pros and cons to this. The pros are it's the best for actually getting to see objects in your space. The cons are the limited interactions. The interactions include things like distance-based and touch-based interactions, but they have to be configured in the correct way for them to work properly. The third type is VR testing. We ended up coupling with a technical artist who could quickly create these interactions in Unity. It's not the final code and it's not reusable, but that's okay for a prototype. The benefits are it's great for testing actual interaction and it's going to provide the most accurate feedback. The downside to this is time. We took about a week to design the interaction, get it coded, and then perform user tests. However, I got a lot of great feedback from it. A lot of it was transferable to what we were using and it really helped to solidify the interaction in the mind of the user and the team members. There was no guessing, and imagination was just not really required. So to wrap it up, when it comes to XR prototyping, we need to understand a couple things. Number one, what do you want to test? Usability issues, sizing in real world space, the interaction. Number two, who are you testing it with? Someone who is technically inclined or imaginative might be able to understand a paper prototype better, while someone who isn't as creative might not really get what you're showing them. And lastly, testing applies to all prototypes. We like to say test often and test early. I hope that you found what I said was informative. Thanks for watching.